Crocs are red hot and the company expects the trend to continue. In its quarterly earnings report, Crocs said direct to consumer shoe sales from its stores or website grew by more than 90 percent. For the entire year, it now expects sales to be up 40 to 50 percent. For the second straight quarter, company leaders are forecasting growth of 60 to 70 percent. Some have called Crocs the it shoe of the pandemic. YouTube could match Netflix in revenue by the end of the year. Their business models are different. Netflix relies on subscribers and YouTube relies primarily on advertising. While YouTube only has a fraction of Netflix's subscribers, on any given day, YouTube users watch 1 billion hours of video compared to 400 million hours a day for users of Netflix. YouTube is owned by Alphabet, which is also the parent company of Google. If you've noticed it's starting to cost more to fill your gas tank, you're not wrong. The national average is up to its highest level since 2019. And as the peak travel season approaches, analysts say high prices might not be the only issue facing drivers this summer. As American families pile into their cars and head out onto the highway this summer, finding a place to fill up might be tougher than usual. There will not be a shortage of gasoline. There's enough gasoline. It's just a question of getting it to the station as quickly as consumers are filling up. It's all because there aren't enough certified tanker truck drivers right now to deliver all the gas that stations may need. The industry had been facing a shortage of drivers even before the pandemic, according to the National Tank Truck Carriers Organization. Last year, with fuel prices dropping, many drivers were laid off. Enter 2021, things have rebounded. Uh, demand for gasoline is up. Those delivery drivers, in many cases, still gone. Fuel tankers require drivers to have more training and certifications than standard trucks. But many driving schools were shut down because of COVID-19, so hiring new drivers may take some time. Up to 25% of tankers are currently sitting idle. The summer, analysts say some tourist destinations may have trouble keeping up. Think Orlando, uh, Florida with Walt Disney World, Yosemite, Yellowstone. Some of these areas don't have enough gas stations or truckers to be able to meet what could be a, a, a very high summer for gasoline consumption. AAA says the national average for a gallon of gas is $2.89, up from just $1.77 a year ago. $20 used to get me, you know, a good half a week or so, and now $20 gets me home and back. It makes me want to park my car, <laughs> take off my bike. Also driving up prices, businesses and entertainment venues starting to reopen and the traffic jams that come with them. They're outrageous, considering that everyone's back driving again. Um, last year, no one drove at all, wasn't going anywhere. For drivers, a downside of the return to normal, more cars on the road and more dollars going into the tank. Industry leaders say there's no quick fix to the problem. And if you're thinking of hitting the road anytime soon, you should plan ahead and top off your tank. Coming up, a look at the toll the pandemic has taken on the mental health of children.